The king from the previous story had come to the mysterious castle to find the answers to his questions. But ironically, instead of finding answers, only the number of questions kept growing. Starting with the wailing man who stood behind a curtain. The king paid his regards to him and asked why he was crying. As the man wiped his tears away, he took off his cloak to reveal his body, which had been turned to stone from below the waist. The king, baffled, asked the man to explain the mystery surrounding this castle and the pond, and perhaps by doing so, a cure could be found for the man as well. And so, the man began to explain the strangest story the king had ever heard in his life. He explained that he was, in fact, the king of the land of the four islands. He ruled his land in peace with his beloved wife. However, the days of peace didn't last long. He'd heard rumors about his wife being unfaithful to him and had decided to confirm the rumors for himself by following her at night. As he quietly followed his wife in the darkness, his worst fear came true. Realizing that the queen was cheating on him with an ordinary slave at that, rage took a hold of his body at once. He attacked the slave with his sword, injuring him gravely. At that moment, his wife cast a spell on him, turning him to stone from below the waist. She did not stop there and proceeded to pull her wicked spell on the innocent people of his land. The citizens were turned into fish and the entire land became a pond. The four islands also became mountains surrounding the pond. As the king listened to his story, he came to the conclusion that he couldn't leave the man alone as he was and promised to free him of this torturous fate. The king found the slave who was resting somewhere in the castle and killed him in his sleep. After hiding the slave's body in a well, he dressed himself up as the slave and slept in his bed, awaiting the return of the witch woman. As the woman returned, the king, pretending to be the slave, started blaming the woman. He explained that the king and the people's unending curses upon him were the reason why he wasn't recovering from his injuries and demanded that the woman undo the spells at once. The love-struck woman immediately undid all her wicked spells and turned the land back to how it was, prosperous and bustling with life. The woman returned back to her beloved side, but the king had one last request to make of her. However, what the nature of the final request was, that remains to be told another day.